for the last, oh, I'd say, 45 years or more, we have left at about, on Christmas Eve, five in the afternoon, and to selective residences have uh, sung Christmas carols. Uh, we knock on the door, ring the doorbell, and then oftentimes just open the door and walk in, invite ourselves in, uh, if the door is open, and begin singing. And we always start out with uh, joy to the world. <laughs> yeah, joy exactly. to the world. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and it, it's something that people look forward to, that is, those to whom we have sung in the past. And they, they come to expect it every yeah. Christmas Eve. So uh, we have gotten sometimes uh, an occasional phone call asking what our schedule might be so our schedule can fit in with theirs if they should happen to be gone at a church service or a special family meal. But um, they just always want to be sure that they don't miss our caroling. And it kind of tickles us. It makes us really feel important that, that we're part of their family tradition at the holiday time. And that's what happens. We often get in on family dinners and <laughs> things like that are taking place and we're caroling. We like to think that we add to theirs, but they certainly add to our yes. enjoyment mm -hmm. of uh, the Christmas celebration. And now I'm here in the kitchen with Dean and Sheila Borg. Thank you so much for being here today. Oh, oh. Thank you for having us. It's a and pleasure. What are we gonna make? Uh, we're making an apple cranberry cake. Uh, this is a, a special cake that I like to use uh, during the holiday time because it's just sort of a busy time. It seems like there's always a meal that yes. needs to be had. So this is something that you can use at breakfast or if you want to serve it maybe at a dinner, you can add a little vanilla ice cream to oh, it. Oh, nice. So it really... And you can make it ahead, exactly. which is nice, too. Exactly. So is it kind of a spice cake? Batter or? Somewhat of a spice cake. There are some cinnamon and nutmeg in the batter. A little buttermilk makes it a little rich. So we've already prepared the batter today. And so what I will do is I'll fold in. We have uh, apples and fresh cranberries. And, and you we'll, just cut the cranberries in half, huh? I do, or you can chop them finer. It's just up to you. And uh, we'll just fold. Uh, the apples and cranberries together here. Just incorporate that into your batter. I'm the apple shopper. She gives oh, me yeah. instructions as to what kind of apples go into this. Oh. <laughs> and Dean, the secret? Well, Cortland, isn't it? Uh, one that it's you one like. That I like for baking. Mm -hmm. Cortland, oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or a wealthy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and pour this into our. Hey, can I hold your bowl for thank you? Thank you. Our you greased and, and floured pan. Do you get ever put on a peeling and coring duty too, Dean, or is that all Sheila? I, I, I think that uh, my hands are too delicate for that. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I, re I really wouldn't know how to core an apple. <laughs> okay. Just, all right, we'll just spread it out. Mm -hmm. And then you have a topping for it too, I right? do. It's a, a brown sugar, a cinnamon, and a little white sugar, and uh, some walnuts. Oh, wonderful. So we'll I just can take um, that. How about uh, batter licking duty? Do you get that, Dean? I do. And in <laughs> fact, she passes me the spoon and anything else and has a little batter on it, Charity. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Now that the kids are grown and out of the house, you can. And she hides the walnuts from me in between baking. <laughs> <laughs> just good policy. <laughs> well, They're just not there when you need them, are exactly they? That's exactly right. Oh, that looks wonderful. All right. All right. And Dean, you're going to put that in the oven for yes, us? Yes, I will. Mm -hmm. Earn your keep? Yes. And this goes in the upper oven. And uh, Sheila, uh, the temperature on that is? Um, I set it at 325, All but right. I've got a glass pan, 350 All right. for And then, uh, Charity, we have one in the lower oven here that's already prepared, so we can show you that if I can get it out of here and get it over. I'll bring it across. Right. Perfect. Oh, look at that. That looks wonderful. And I just happen to have plates and a knife and forks. I am all set for this. I know what to do. <laughs> all right. And as Sheila said, sometimes adding a little ice cream to it is, uh, it just provides mm -hmm. the extra touch. It, mm -hmm. uh, it's really smooth at that time with that ice cream. Oh, yeah. 
I like it uh, just after it comes out of the oven, it maybe is. a few minutes later, it and it's, yep. still and it's still warm, and then the ice, the ice cream, cream. Uh, alongside it is just yeah. wonderful. Okay. Dean, yes, you can good. have the first good. piece. Good. Thank you. And, and Sheila, don't you think the cranberries in there too add a, a, a sort of a special taste along and complement the apples? I, I do. I, I enjoy uh, using cranberries in baking. I like the tartness and I also like the color it, it sort of adds. Yes, they are yeah. beautiful. All right. Mm, that's delicious. Thank you so much for oh. being here today. Oh, thank you for having thank us. Thank you. Thank you.